Hello and welcome. This is My Sweet Stay, uh, a knockoff to My Sweet Digs by Refinery29 with no affiliation. I love Refinery29. I follow all their stuff and I love their uh, New York City My Sweet Digs um, channel. But I was gonna just show you uh, where I live in Honolulu, Hawaii and pay $15.50 Per month including utilities okay so my apartment is a one bedroom one and a half bath apartment that is about roughly 600 square feet and I live near uh, Fort Schaffner Tripler Hospital but this living space it really does not come with too much room to move around and I actually had a huge sectional couch when I was living in California before I moved to Hawaii six months ago. But I ended up suddenly selling it on Let Go and I could not be happier because for the price range that I was looking um, in Honolulu, I was not finding apartments that were really bigger than 400 square feet. Behind the TV is that American flag. That was a flag that was flown on my second ship uh, during uh, exercise in South Korea, Operation San Yong. Um, and that is actually a fishing buoy also from South Korea. <laughs> I ran it over when I was standing off of the deck on a warship and the captain happened to see it and had them bring it from the stern gate of an amphib to the bridge and basically gifted it to me for being such a shitty ship driver. I'll take it. This bookshelf, the lantern light, and then this piece right here, um, which is just like a little shelf, is all from Korea but bought in Japan at a furniture bazaar in Sasebo. P.S. Side note, this uh, candle is Volcano from Anthropology. If you have not <laughs> uh, smelled that candle, you need to go to Anthropology tomorrow and buy it, or today. You need to get it immediately. Um, my best friend Liz told me about this, and of course, I have got a little essential oil station right here. I've really grown to like essential oils recently, and I um, use them regularly in my house. So moving over to the kitchen area, this table is from Italy. It has four, four leaves that makes it ginormous, longer than this room combined. Um, the chairs are not as comfortable, but is made of very nice wood. And then this mask is from Bali Boo, which is in Hawaii, but um, it is art made in Indonesia, which I love. And then another thing I cannot live without is Zenespresso. Um, I think it's hands down a thousand times better than the Keurig. And I tried a sample and I was like, this might be my calling. This might be the reason why I could drink coffee. And I've been drinking it ever since. First started traveling a couple years ago, I was like, you know, what can I get to remind myself of my travels that's not like a knickknack everywhere because I don't like all the clutter of all the knickknacks um, and so I did start collecting magnets <laughs> it's a little overzealous this area over here is just mostly primarily utility and I've just got the sink with cabinets thank the Lord for storage and a washer here, the dryer, dryer is outside and I hang dry a lot of stuff because it's really nice in Hawaii. And then it's just a standing shower and toilet. I also forgot to mention that I live in this apartment with my dove Nyx who you're going to meet in just a minute. We're about to go upstairs to the loft area and what I found to be so exciting about the pictures of the apartment whenever I first saw it on uh, Zillow because this area is just like a lovely living space. I love it up here. I spend a lot of time up here and I want to show you guys what it looks like. So this is 
the loft bedroom area. Um, it's extremely spacious, it's got a lot, and what it really has that I love the most is this kind of 360 windows where you can open the windows and essentially have just this amazing airflow through the whole space um, throughout the day and I mean even when it rains there's like a lip outside where the rain can't get in the window. Without further ado, this is Nixie Lou. She is, I think about to lay an egg, let's check. Yep, no egg yet. But she's uh, nesting. Actually, only keep her in the cage when I'm not home, so she is quite content um, to be out and about at all times. This is the bed with duvet. I actually picked this little guy, this little desk up at Target uh, like a week ago and I actually like use it all the time now. I just sit there, I can type, but of course in this area I got a desk that I picked up when I lived in Italy at the furniture store, but I do believe this desk is from Pakistan. And then um, my sister, Lenise, actually bought this dresser when we were in Japan at the Furniture Bazaar, but when I was leaving, she was staying and we weren't sure, you know, if she moved back later, if she'd be able to ship the dresser and how much that would cost, so basically I took it with me and I've had it for five years. Um, so Lenny, I love you. I'm not giving you this dresser back. We're gonna have to get you something new. <laughs> and this little shelf here is basically the knickknacks that I have collected on my travels. This table is another Japanese piece. It's a katatsu table and actually in Japan in the winter they normally do not have very good internal heating or they do but what they do is they put the blanket there's a blanket that comes with this and it goes in between the bottom part and the lid um, so like this can lift up and then you put the blanket under it and it has a heater that attaches to the bottom you plug it in it is so warm I mean you can get completely <laughs> like just heated out of the bottom of that this is a step tonsu so basically it is um, a stair style piece of furniture that actually the top can flip down and make like a straight across dresser. Um, and then these are Kutatsu dolls which I have collected um, throughout my time in Japan. Um, they even made one for our ship when I was there. So we got her. And then I think this might have been the very first one I ever bought right here, this one. And actually recently, I picked this one up in Hawaii. And this is the half bath, just a toilet and little sink area. Um, very small, but perfect for not having to run up and down before uh, going to bed. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my sweet stay with all of my things in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, if you enjoyed this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button uh, so you can get the most up-to-date notifications when videos are released. And um, I hope to see you soon. Bobby, what you got under there? Oh, waiting on the second egg, eh? Mm-hmm.